Welcome to this week's Bushel Up. Uh, coming to you from Aurora. We're a day late. I took a few days off uh, with the family and I uh, was hoping to come back and see a whole bunch of stuff done uh, after about three or four days away. Uh, name of the game is more rain and uh, more and more rain and more and more and more rain. So uh, if you've ever wondered what it's like to be in Nebraska and farm like an Iowa, uh, we're actually getting that experience this year. Uh, you know, I look behind me in our pivot. We've uh, incorporated herbicide one time with it and uh, it's kind of just be a big paperweight out there right now. So uh, with that, uh, let's talk about what's coming up this week. First of all, uh, happy 4th of July. Uh, hope everybody gets a chance tomorrow just to reflect on uh, what a great country we have and all those people that have, have built this country and protected it and served and, and keep us our freedoms. And, and we have a lot of freedom and, and that's great that, that we can grow a crop any way we see fit. Uh, you know, I get to work with growers that, that have all kinds of practices and all kinds of approaches to how they farm. And uh, we want to make sure we connect with, with all of you out there, whether you're going after high yields or you're going after efficiency. Um, you know, it's important that you uh, ha have somebody that can advise you in, in those realms. So uh, with that, you know, we talk about what can we do here. Uh, you know, I was, I was down in Kansas City for a few days, uh, a lot of tassels popping in Missouri. Uh, as you go along I-29 there, uh, you look at Nebraska here, we're just on the on the front side of that. Um, you know, we expect to see some tassels popping here in the next few days on some of this early planted corn. Uh, we're seeing some western bean cutworms show up right on time. Uh, I believe uh, the, the GDU prediction model that UNL put out said right around the 5th, 6th of July, we'll be at 25% flight, uh, kind of around this Clay Center, Harvard, Aurora area. And then obviously as you go further north, that delays a little more. Uh, be on the lookout for those. Again, our main focus on, on corn and insects is really protecting the silks. Uh, you know, we want to make sure we get that good pollination. So here in, in 10 days when we're in, in full pollination on some of these early fields, uh, we want to make sure whether it be Japanese beetles, corn rootworm beetles, uh, western bean cutworm, uh, that we're really protecting those silks. We're protecting that insects from getting inside that ear husk and, and causing damage. So uh, scouting will be very important here in the upcoming week, uh, two weeks, three weeks. Uh, we've got a long window with this corn, uh, but that's what we really want to be watching on corn. We turn our focus from, you know, weeds to, to insects now. Uh, when we look at soybeans, kind of the same deal. I'm standing out here in our soybeans at Aurora you know, I see some grasshoppers. I've still got a few adult stem borers around. I've got some Japanese beetles. I don't have a lot of feeding, uh, but a lot of little feeding going on. And so again, you know, we're, we're flowering, we're blooming up and down here. We're starting to get just some pod initiation. And again, we want to protect those uh, small pods. Uh, insects like the tender, uh, new uh, vegetative growth. So. You know, a lot of times you'll see them feed on the top on the tender growth or they'll go down below in the canopy and feed on some of those new pods, some of them new flowering kind of kind of type areas. So uh, again, be scouting soybeans. Uh, again, we turn our focus towards insects. Uh, we spent a lot of time talking about white mold a couple weeks ago. Still a little bit of time, but if you're really concerned about white mold, those days are getting past us to where uh, we've already had some rainfall events. We've already got flowers out. so. Uh, it's very likely that we've had some infection happen um, and, and so if we're not treating or treating here very soon, uh, we could be out of that window to help you. Uh, so be, be on the lookout for that, you know, disease wise, uh, man, the conditions, um, it's a dewy this morning, it's going to be wet here, uh, not a lot of airflow. Uh, we'll just continue to monitor that, you know, we see some tar spots showing up in Nebraska confirmed. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be on the lookout for that. You know, the biggest thing we talk about early is plant health. Uh, as we see disease, we'll report that to you and bring that information. But again, um, hang in there. I know it's been rough. Uh, we still have fields that need some herbicides. Uh, we're on plan uh, Z now. And, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to do some work, uh, trying to clean some of those up. Um, I know flooding, uh, there's some hail, some pretty bad wind. Uh, if you need any help looking at your fields, please call us. Uh, we'll come out and help walk fields with you. Uh, with that, have a great 4th of July. Uh, everybody stay safe, and we'll talk to you next week.